Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. So today my tutorial is based on HTTP request and I think if you are a Zapier developer, you must need to know that what are HTTP requests because you need to do a lot of them from Zapier. So HTTP requests are put, post, get or delete. So if you want to learn these HTTP requests, just follow with my tutorial and like and subscribe to my channel. So here is a Zapier app which I have made to demonstrate HTTP request. So let me just start with over it. So here is my catch hook as I've already made it. So first of all, my first HTTP request is get request. So here I, I need a copper account, which was earlier known as Prosperwork and my copper API documentation. So here is my get request that how to fetch a person by its ID. So here is my person mate. So this is my people and this is my people ID. So first of all, let's see what is needed in get request. So when you will just do this plus sign, you're going to add webhook. And when you are going to select it, you have opted to this option. You have to just select get from here and continue. After continue, you will be prompted to select a URL. Just paste the URL as I have seen it from here. This is my get request and this is my URL. So just paste it over here. And here when you need to paste your person ID, I have taken it from my copper account. This is the person ID whose name is Dominic Drake and the company is Shift Developers. So I have added that ID over here. Now in headers, I need to give some values which is mentioned in documentation. So this is my access token, application, user email, content type. So you have to just fill these fields over here in your headers. So this, this is my headers. If there is some basic auth, you need to provide it by using this symbol and your API key. API key over here. So, so these are my details. Now let's continue it and let's see the result. So this is how a normally get request is posted. I'm going to retest this step. Send to webhook. And yes, it turned green. So here is my last name. Here's my last name, my first name over here, as you can see. Here is my title, development manager, company ID, company name. So this was all in my get request that I wanted to know the information of my person in copper. So I made that get request. Similarly, if you want to make a post request. So here is a very simple example of a post request that if you are sending a post request to another Zap to continue with it, so sending a post request to Zap does not require any authentication. So there is no need of any headers or basic auth. You can just simply add a URL of any other Zap and its value. So I'm going to continue. And read this step. And let me just change some value over it, like test value one to three. Hi, this is a test. Let me give a space over here. Continue. And we test this step. Send test to Vancouver by Zapier. So here the green symbol shows that I'm over. That's correct. So let's check it. So here is my result. Hi, this is a test. And this was the URL, as you can see. So this was a normal post request which I have made from Zapier to another Zap, from one Zap to another Zap. So here is my example of another post request, which is my custom post request. So if you want to make custom requests, you just need to click. Here is also a post request which I have shown you. Now this is a custom request which I am going to show you. So custom request, continue. So when you select custom request, you are prompted to select any of the requests like get, put, post, patch, delete. I'm going to select here post. 
So now here in my API documentation, here's the post request example, as you can see, fetch a person by email. So here is my URL. And here is the data in form of JSON format that in which format I need to send to it. So in my API, it was like this. So I need to send it in this form only email dominic at the red gmail.com, which is this one. Here is my email. So let's see if it brings the same person or not. So this is a post request example. And again, my headers are over here. So let's continue and check to retest this step as you can see there is no green symbol and I'm going to send this to playbook and yes it turned green so it means that my request was successful and okay so here is my last name title development manager first name Dominic ship developer this was my email address. This is my name, Dominic Drake. As you can see over here, Dominic Drake, an email address. So it means that it has brought me the person with this post request. Now, if you want to update someone, so these requests are like uh, current operations in database, like create is for post, retrieve is for get, update is for put, and default is delete. So my put request, is update request so here you can again select webhook by zapier and then continue custom request and from custom request you just need to select put over here put request now my put request url so here is my put request url update a person over here this one and here's my person id same as dominic drake this one and now I'm going to add for example here's a title development manager let me just change it and let me just put it for example I need to update it from development manager to brand manager so let's continue you can just give your headers like this continue and retest this here is my title brand manager and you can see that here it says development manager now it's going to get changed so it is green and successful let me just refresh it so here it is it has changed to brand manager so I have updated my person in copper so now a delete request, it's a delete request. So here is my ID, but this ID is not of that person. So it is like 2784. So this is my person's 2784. His name is Rickson Developer. So I'm going to delete this item. So I put my email ID, my ID from here. So I have taken it from my first step. Let's say my first step is this this is how you can add tokens to keep dynamic values now my request which was a custom request custom request continue just select the delete option in custom request this is my delete and continue and I'm going to retest this step send this to the group by Zapier and this is a green so this item must be deleted I'm going to refresh it and let's check it okay so it is saying oops the page the, that page doesn't exist so it means that our item has been deleted successfully so my delete request worked so this is how you can send your HTTP request using Zapier. So these were the simple basic tutorials. If you want to make any other changes, you can also do that according to your API. So this was all about my tutorial. If you have any questions or queries, just write it down in the comment section below. If you want to meet me, you can just 
add it to my Calendly link. You can just see my Calendly link in description and you can set up a meeting over there. And if you like my channel, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'm going to give you tutorials on Zapier. And next time I'm going to show you that how you can send all these HTTP requests by code via Zapier. So all this code I'm going to do in code by Zapier, which is also one of the most important feature of Zapier. And I'm going to use JavaScript. So next time I'm going to tell you these things. So for right now, I can just say that you can just turn your Zap on. And I'm going to I'm going to just do one thing that I'm going to test it live if you want it. Let's say my dear child Paul. My dear Paul, there she is. So this is her ID. If I'm going to get over here, I'm going to just paste it. I'm going to turn my zap on. Now I'm going to just send it over here and let's check it in my zap history whether it has done all the changes or not. Let me just refresh it. So as you can see my HTTP request works flawlessly. I'm going to just open its task history and I can see my first request and my get request worked, my post request worked my put request worked and my delete request also worked and let's see yes this item has been deleted because at last this was to be deleted as i sent it in my delete id section so this is all about http request thanks for watching my video like and subscribe to my channel if you want to meet me i've given my calendar link in description you can just set up a meeting and just talk to me if you have any questions or if you want zapier setup automation in your systems or if you want to learn zapier just contact me thank you guys